What do you do when you're not completely happy with your painting? One of the practices I like to do is the practice of letting go, of non-attachment. It has to do with risking and moving towards something better than what you got. And if you look at this painting that I'm working on now, I'm, I got much too specific and detailed too soon and uh, it's off. I don't like it. First of all, she is not expressing my initial intention, my abstract idea. And so it's just not gonna work. No matter how much I fiddle with her and I can make her look okay, she's still not gonna <clears throat> express what I want her to say. So what, are you, what do you do? Um, I can fiddle with it even more and I can fix it and I can probably make it look pretty good, but I'm not gonna do that. I am gonna ruin the painting. This is what I did today and I'm so much more happy with what's going on now just yeah see her look and everything is just getting closer to where I want it I like the jacket um, the vest and uh, the bows and I'll be working on those again but I'm gonna leave it here I like the proportions, I like the look that she has, and yeah. Okay, so that was that was really fun. Uh, I loved scraping it down. It was scary at first because I was attached to, um, to what I wanted the painting to be, uh, but the painting was not what I wanted it to be. So actually just going in with, it, with turpentine and just you know, rubbing it down and getting rid of that um, I was as, as much as I could get rid of was uh, was really freeing and I could just feel from like that limited space that I was putting myself in. It just, you know, I suddenly had all my options open again and uh, it was very exciting. So uh, this is what I've got right now, and um, I'm very, very pleased with it. It is more what I want. It's her expression that, um, that I can feel boiling up within her, and that uh, you know, if, I don't, uh, if I don't mess it up, uh, I'll be able to, um, to clarify much better uh, in the next stage of this painting. So for now, um, I'm gonna put her aside and let her dry and get back to her in a day or two. See you then.